All right, guys, let's go ahead and review our H brothers for the week. All right, we know that we have, oh, not yet. We know that we have C H Ch 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 Chuck. We have S H Sh Sh Shane. We have Theo, the one who is constantly being naughty. We have Will, I mean, Wit. <laughs> and we have F -F Phil, who was always talking on the phone. All right, so let's review just a little bit about our sounds. This week we are covering the WH digraph. Remember, a digraph is when we have two word, two letters making one sound, okay? So they don't make their own sounds anymore. They make one brand new sound. So the letters WH make the wh sound. Remember, that's when we hear the H sound kind of first, like wh, wh, okay? We also learned this week about the f tie graph. It was when the PH works together and they make a new sound f. Okay, f. Very good. All right. So today we're going to practice writing four words. Remember to take a picture of your words before you erase it if you're using your whiteboard. All right. Here we go. Our first sound it or our first word is wine. Wine. Please do not whine because you have to go to bed. Whine. Think about it. What is that wh sound at the beginning of whine that we have been learning about this week? This one has five letters. Whine. All right. Did you spell it? W H I N E wine because I hear that wh at the beginning. I hear I n, which means I have to use that magic e at the end. All right, here's our next word phase. Phase. We are in phase two of our phonics lesson for today. Phase. Remember which f sound are we talking about this week? Phase. I also hear a magic E sound. Phase. Phase. All right, did you spell it P-H-A-S-E? Phase. Good job. All right, here we go. My next word is wham. Wham. The door slammed with a big wham. Wham. Wh am. Wham. W H A M. Wham. Good job. And our last word for today is phone. 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 You've got to think about all the phonics skills we've learned so far. F O N. B H O N E. Very good. Here we go. Now we're going to diagram our words today. So let me go ahead and pull up my other slide. And I'm going to get my pen ready. And we are going to diagram our words, all right? Now, remember, the first thing we do is we look for our vowels in our words. I see two vowels with a consonant in the middle, which tells me this is a magic E word. This I is going to be a long I, and that's going to be my talking vowel. My E is going to be silent, remember? I also see a digraph, W H. Now, remember, when I have a digraph, I'm going to make a square around it because they make one sound. No longer do they make their own sound. They make one sound. We know that WH together makes the wh sound. So we have wh-ine. 
wine. Very good. Let's look at our next word. Phase. All right, here we go. Let's look for our vowels. We're going to underline the first two vowels we see. All right, now we see that we have a magic E because we have a consonant in between the A and the E. So my A is going to be long and it's going to say its name. A. We know that F, this PH, they always go together when they're beside each other. And they're going to say F. So we have F. A's face. Okay, let's look at our next one. Wham! All right, we have our A. Now, I don't see a magic E. I do see that there's a consonant right behind it, which means it's going to be closed. So this is going to say our short vowel sound. Ah, wah, ah, ah, ah. I see W H. There's my digraph. I'm going to draw a square around it because it goes together and i know that my word is wh am wham wham all right and our last word phone here we go i see my first vowel i'm looking i see a magic e back here so this is going to be my talking vowel and it's going to say its name or it's going to be a long sound and my e is going to be silent remember we have our square around our ph because they go together as one sound we have f own phone very good all right remember take a picture of your words before you move on to your sentence or you can just use the back of your board okay let's get back over here to our to our powerpoint show all right, we have wine, phase, wham, phone, and now we're going to try some sentences. We're going to do two today. All right, the first one is going to focus more on phonics skills. The second one is going to focus more on red words. So here we go. Ready? Which pet did Dave make wine? Which pet did Dave make wine? Okay, we're gonna do it a little slower. Which pet, which pet did Dave, did Dave make Wine, like wah, wine. Which pet did Dave make wine? All right, if you haven't finished your sentence, pause it until you have, and then let's move on. Here we go. We're going to check it. Remember, good writers always edit their work. So if you see that you made a mistake, that's okay. Just fix your mistake and then let's keep moving. Here we go. Let me move my face a little bit higher. Here we go. Which pet did Dave make wine? Look, I see a capital W right here. Do you have a capital W? Did you spell which with a WH? Mm. Did you spell wine with a WH? This is a question. Does your sentence end with a question mark? If it does, you go three for three on those hard skills today. All right, our next sentence. Are you ready? Here we go. Our next sentence is, both of those kids do not like the phone. Both of those kids do not like the phone. All right, let's slow it down a little bit. Both of the both of the kids do not 
kids do not like the phone like the phone all right so our sentence is both of those kids do not like the phone all right if you're not finished with this sentence pause it until you're finished and come check it here we go both of those kids do not like the phone. Both of those kids do not like the phone. Does your B have a capital letter? Is your B capitalized? It's at the beginning of a sentence. It should be. Do you have this word, both and those? That is our red words. And then we have an S at the end of kids. Do not like the, oh, there's a PH phone all right let's move on and finish our red words for the week we what i want you to do is get your marker get your red marker or a red crayon or a red highlight or a red colored pencil or red something and we're going to write our red words three times each while we spell them here we go our first word is gave so i'm going to pretend like this is my red marker but you write it you can trace it right over the top of what you're writing or you can here I think I can do it here we go ready G A V E oh now watch you're gonna go right over the top of it again G A V E again G A V -E. E. Y'all like my handwriting? Isn't it great right now? I'm trying to do it with a mouse pad and it's not really great. Here we go. Our next word is pull. Get your red crayon ready. P. U. L. L. Pull. P. U. L. L. Pull. P. U. L. L. Pull. Very good. Our next word is both. Here we go. B O T H. Both. That looks like an N. Let me fix it. There we go. B O T H. Both. B O T H. Both. And my last word is goes. Here we go. Ready? G O E S goes. G O E S goes. G O E S goes. Very good. All right, let's move to our next slide. And we are going to look at the Our words. Here we go. We're just going to read these three columns of words. Ready? These use many, which does first made very gave pull both goes. Great job, you guys. Don't forget to submit your picture of your phonics activity on Seesaw. See you later.